Hi there, it's Kristen from Quebecca, and today I'll be talking a little bit about the Mink White Reactive Foil. This foil is one of the more recent additions to the Mink line, and I was so excited when I saw that they'd be offering an opaque white foil for DIY hot foiling. I've been doing a lot of testing with this foil. I'm actually almost at the end of the roll here, and I really, really wanted to show you results with it in my earlier video about making print and cut foil acetate embellishments. Unfortunately, my initial results with this foil on acetate weren't what I expected, and I had more testing to do. So initially, I ran the white foil through the mink on heat setting 4, which is the heat setting that I've been using with the acetate and the other foils that I've tried, both mink and thermoweb brand. But when I ran the white foil through on this setting, here's what happened. The foil adhered very nicely to the areas printed with laser toner, but you can see that it also adhered in lots of areas where there was no printing and no toner coverage. I used the same brand of acetate, same printer, same heat settings as with the other foils, so I wasn't sure what was going on. Next, I tried running it through the mink at a lower heat setting. Here's a sample of the result with heat setting 3. Again, the foil bonded to areas where there was no printing and no toner coverage. So now I'm going to give it one more shot and run it through the mink at the lowest heat setting, which is heat setting 1. Heat setting 0, which is what I have the mink turned to now so I wouldn't forget to mention this, applies pressure to the paper or cardstock as you run it through the machine, but it's a non-heat setting and won't work for foiling. It's more for adhering double-sided stickers and rub-ons, things like that. Okay, I'm going to place my printed sheet of acetate into a transfer folder, and then I'm going to place strips of plain printer paper over top of the registration marks so I don't foil those. Then I'll place a piece of white foil that's been cut to a little larger than the printed area on top of the acetate. I'll turn the mink up to heat setting 1, and when the heat setting light turns green, I'll run the transfer folder through the machine. When I remove the piece of foil, you can see that the foil didn't stick nearly as much in areas where there's no printing, but it still did stick in places. Some of these are clean enough that I'd be willing to die cut them and use them as embellishments, but for the most part, unless you're going for a weathered or splattered look, the white foil and acetate combo is probably not one that will work. However, as you've seen if you watched my video on foiling vellum, or more accurately, surfaces that have the look of vellum but that aren't actually vellum, then you'll know that I didn't have this problem there. Here's an example of the white foil on vellum. Any extra bits of foil that you can see in this example are stray pieces of toner, and you can find out more about this in the video link that should be popping up right about now. The foil only adhered where there was toner on the page. The white foil also works very well with the mink reactive mediums. This is a test piece that I did with the white foil and the mink reactive screen ink, and it foiled very cleanly when run through the mink on heat setting 5, which is the highest setting. So the issue does seem to be unique to the white foil and acetate. The white foil isn't metallic like the other foils in the mink line, so it may have a different chemical makeup than the metallic foils, or it may have a lower melting and bonding point, or maybe both. It could also be that this reaction only happens with the brand of acetate that I use, and you may have better luck with another brand. Or if you have a laminator or foiling machine that has a wider range of heat settings, a lower heat setting than is possible with the mink might give you better results as well. I hope that you found this video to be informative, and if you'd like to see more videos about DIY hot foiling and the mink, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll tune in again soon.